Do you enjoy the taste of a juicy Georgia peach straight from the tree? A look with disgust upon monuments to slavers and rebellion? Do you find mud bogging to be a fine occasion to get far too drunk and rowdy, but find yourself planning to seize the means of production after a few inebriants? Is your idea of the perfect day gathering with your fellows to shoot and kill animals for sport, and then unwinding by joining a march in support of voting rights with the local NAACP? And I've got the place for you, the League of Extraordinarily Progressive Southern Gentlemen. The League of Extraordinarily Progressive Southern Gentlemen is open to all human persons of any gender, sexual orientation, race, creed, religion, or any other immutable characteristic interested in such activities as opposing fascist thought, ideas, and actions, shooting guns at various containers that previously contained alcohol, supporting and defending women's access to family planning services, health care, and all types of birth control, including abortion, noodling for catfish, frying and distributing that catfish at a union organizing event, discussing and arguing over the finer points of barbecue, including but not limited to preferences for pork or beef, a musty or sweet saucing, smoking woods and seasonings, or supporting and defending American democracy from bloated narcissists. The League of Extraordinarily Progressive Southern Gentlemen was founded secretly in 1877 after the collapse of Reconstruction. Even its original founders' names are a secret lost to history, and it's been committed to the advancement of culture and governance in its native South ever since. So if you're a true patriot and looking for a place where you can enjoy a truly unique Southern experience without any racist talk or neo-confederate apologetics, contact us today. With over 70 chapters and more across the nation, as far north as Missouri, one might need near you. For a taste, here's what's on our flagship chapter's agenda this weekend. Professor Ophelia Jugwe from the University of Liberia on how the colonization of Africa by white slavers is a legacy millions still struggle against today. Cletus from our local cultural engagement committee on the stylings of Balawan, whose blend of jazz, rock, and traditional Indonesian folk music is sure to leave you grinning like a possum eating a sweet tater. Our weekly roundup of this week's expansion of the military-industrial complex is bleeding into state and local police forces, and of course an update on our coalition efforts with the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, Policy Committee, and Legal Defense Funds. So if you've got the sense God gave a goose to get your ass down here, which isn't to say you need to be religious to join, by gum, we are a secular citizens organization. The League of Extraordinarily Progressive Southern Gentlemen. Because we reckon if conservatives had a good idea, it'd die of loneliness. Join today!